The best way to figure out what's going on in Atlanta is to follow uh, an Atlanta DJ. DJs are so easily accessible. Like, I literally have an email in my Instagram. I don't like when people DM me like, yo, can I send you a song? If my email is right there, send me the sh I don't give a f what your technical skill is. If you can play a good song, to me, that's the biggest thing. Diving further into the One More Time podcast journey into film and TV, we have a very special guest that I'm beyond thrilled to welcome in. It's Zoe Saldana right oh now God. on the pod. You know her from Avatar <laughs> and other things probably. <laughs> I was about to say, who the fuck is that? Zoe Zaldana is crazy. <laughs> She's great. I, I've never gotten that, but I love her. <laughs> Thank you. It was a whim. I just kind of- yeah. who, who have you gotten? Yeah. Because I love being like Henry, is big miss. Well, okay. You look younger, obviously. Kiki Palmer. Oh, God. Henry, uh, you're fired. Angela Bassett, like a younger version okay. of her, and Whitney Houston. Oh, okay. Whitney Houston. Yeah. It's, like, it's the fucking cheekbones. Like, uh, yeah. We, it's it. We could have stayed in music, bro. Instead, <laughs> like, you, took like us out, you took us into into film. Yeah. That whole film narrative. It, bro. It's a fun journey. Stop it, man. All right. <laughs> All right, in all seriousness, we have one of the hottest DJs in Atlanta. We got Cleo Trappa in the fucking house. Trappa. Hi. Let's go. Hey, do you have a like a drop? I do. Yeah, how's it what, go? What, what is, is it? it? We're gonna... DJ Cleo Trappa. Ooh, it's like it's smooth. not my voice. Yeah, it's one of my homies. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. DJ Cleo Trappa. I didn't know DJ. I guess DJs do have, yeah. They have yeah, tags. Of course. They have tags. You got a brand, bro. Just You're like right. producers. Yeah. Exactly. Who had it first? Producer tags or DJ tags? Oh, we want to talk about mixtape days. DJs had it on lock. They had to. Think about it. Hustle Nomics. So. Yeah. All that. Yeah. Affiliates. Uh-huh. Like DJ Ill Will, DJ Rockstar. DJ They say Ill shit Will. all the time. Yeah. So I was just asking you before the cameras, you know, turned on about mm -hmm. like whether or not you're a big talker on the mic. Cause uh -huh. like some DJs are like, how y'all feeling tonight? Like, you know, just the whole time they're talking, almost talking yeah. more than playing music. Yeah. I ain't got none of that shit in me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, I'm a very like get to the point get the hell up out of here type of person. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I, I, I just, the balance of that is just very difficult for me. Like I've tried, but I try to steer away from those things where I have to talk on the mic. Mm. Y'all not paying me to host this shit. <laughs> Y'all better call somebody and do it themselves. It's a whole separate gig. <laughs> it is. It's two jobs. Like seeing a DJ like hold a mic and try to DJ at the same time. So it's you want me to do the lights too? That I just don't have the energy or the capacity to do. Yeah. I, I'll say, how y'all feeling? We doing good? You know, sure. I might say something like, make sure your tipped bartenders are having a good time. If it's Classic. a dead moment or, you know, like I like to make shit build up a little bit. So if it's some space, like I will say something, but it ain't going to be like, oh, the bad bitches come to the front. Like, <laughs> call somebody else. I am not that girl. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, respect to the people who can. But, sure. Yeah. Well, cause like part of the reason I wanted to get you on the show was so that you could do a drop for us, like for the one more time podcast. Okay. So, no. I got you on that now. No, really? Yeah. Let's hear it. What you got? What you one, got for them? one more time? Just uh, okay. <laughs> fine, fine. All right, but so that's all right. So like one of the most you know legendary names in, in the DJ scene here in Atlanta recently like posted to his story mm -hmm. shouting you out mm -hmm. as like uh, Peter. One exactly, yeah. You know, shout out to Peter uh, Canterbury Tales. Yes, yeah. And so you know, he basically shouted you out saying like you know, Clear Trap was one of the hottest DJs in the city. Mm -hmm. It's been like beautiful to like watch your you know kind of growth and your mm -hmm. rise. What what do you put into like the criteria around hottest DJ, best DJs? You know, because because mm -hmm. he kind of mentioned a few different things that he seemed mm -hmm. to, you know, include in his yeah. evaluation, right, of you as a DJ. Yeah. But I, I just I just want to get your take on like what makes a good DJ. Um, really, somebody who can read the crowd. Like, I don't give a fuck what your technical skill is. If you could play a good song, you know how to pick a song. To me, that's the biggest thing. So it's sound selection. It's sound selection. That's yep. it. And making sure you're looking around and, and giving the people what they want. Sound selection. Number one. Yeah. Number, number one. one. It's, it's not, it's just, it no, it's just it. It just and, didn't and even continue. No, <laughs> people in a party, they don't give a, most of the time, they don't give a fuck how the song comes, depending on where you are. Yeah. Depending on where you are. I've been to places and I've heard DJs who don't have the greatest transitions have a good song selection. Yeah. As long as the people are dancing, they drunk half the time. They don't give a fuck. How you bring that bitch in? Now the nerds like me in the crowd will be like, Correct. they miss that transition a little Correct. bit. Mm. It's certain people. But 99% Correct. do not Especially give a shit. Especially Atlanta. Yeah. They, I mean, most of the time they just, I don't know, you know, talking <laughs> up with their girls. They don't care. They yeah. have a good time. They give, care, 
care less. They right. literally just want like good song number one to yep. go to good song, good song number, number two. two. Yeah. That's the and shit. then on and on. Yeah. If you yeah. fuck something up, just drop a sexy red song real quick. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? That or hit an air horn or some shit. Yeah, like, facts. I did that on purpose. <laughs> Got it right here. Don't <laughs> don't encourage him, no, Cleo. I'm not. Like, I'm sorry. Just I'm stop sorry. the mentioning of Come air on. horns. And I'm I DJing apologize. the podcast. Like, yeah, Come well, on. you're not getting paid to do that part of it. Neither are you. Um, <laughs> so so yeah. So what do you think your biggest strength is as a DJ? Is it is it the song selection? I would say strong song selection, but I also love to like blend music. Okay. Um, and I'm big. I don't even like to say mashup, but I'm big on creating something that hasn't been done before and it's all unintentional like it's not like oh i'm gonna fuck them up now but yeah. it's just like how do i keep myself entertained and i just like to go back and forth with a lot of different things so, so on that note do you uh, use uh, like a mixed in key do you see the key of different um, songs does that matter as sometimes much? to me not as much some people gonna mm-hmm. hate that about me but Ooh. as long as the shit is in the right bpm yeah i ain't too crazy tempo about matters more yeah and then do you have like multiple versions of songs do you keep like acapellas um, instrumentals so yes and no so with the new like Serato Stems update, you yeah. can like create a acapella with any song. I heard it's pretty good. Too. It's it's fire. I do yeah. feel like it makes it a lot easier, but I don't depend on that. Yeah. I don't I'm lean on that. But certain hot songs, it's like, yeah. let me get the beat for this. Correct. Like let me for, get the... my favorite thing to mix is peaches and eggplants into something that it doesn't need to go into. Let's but go. every time that beat come in, they you know they know what is coming. <laughs> boop, and boop, then it's like, boop, actually boop. you don't, because I took the vocals out. But y'all go wait and then I'll bring it back in. Ooh. Damn. Yeah. Shout out to Coop on that beat. Yeah. Yes. Sugar. One more time, alumni. Great <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Great so like it, you know, what's the dynamic between new music, mm-hmm. right? Versus like catalog music. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, do you have a tendency to include like more new shit or just um, like, I try to do like 50, 50. Yeah. I love old music. I love mm-hmm. old trap music. I love old soul music. So I try to play a little bit of everything if I'm in the environment too. Um, right. Yeah. So, always comes first. Yeah. I'm always well aware of like where I am. 90% of the time. Like some of the time I was like, oh shit, I wasn't expecting this type of crowd. But it's always about adaptability. How can you maneuver around that shit? But do you do like corporate events at all? Hell no. <laughs> I don't like playing clean music. Yeah, Ooh. right. That's the hardest part. I will if the you're, bag You're is missing there. out on a bag. I, was I, say. I know I'm missing out on a bag. But I mean, honestly, I've gotten hit up about a few things. I've done a few of them. I don't really enjoy myself there. Yeah. And you want to you enjoy know? yourself. Correct. Yeah. So like speaking of kind of, you know, depending on where the environment is, mm-hmm. right, that kind of dictates mm-hmm. what kind of mix you're doing, right? Mm-hmm. Like the song selection, et cetera. Do you ever play music that you know the people will like, but mm-hmm. you're not necessarily like a fan of? No, I'm no. not playing anything I don't like. Oh, so you choose your venues. You, I, you choose your venues yeah, carefully. Yeah, no. I mean, I've got I've been DJing for like eight years now. Mm-hmm. So I'm at the point where I can like say no to certain things. Yeah. Um, and I'm fine with that because I feel like at a certain point of time in time when I was just like trying to get, you know, my bag together, trying to figure out where I wanted to play. I played a lot of shit that I absolutely hated. Yeah. People aggravating, coming up to you, asking for a request. Don't oh. come up here and talk to me. I'm sorry. Do you have a no requests sign? No, no. Or something? Most of the time I have a bodyguard like <laughs> somewhere around and they, yeah. I just direct them over there. His sole purpose is to just not let them request music. Yeah. yeah. Or no, no. The, the, the <laughs> He's best not worried thing, about anything else. The best thing I'm is they don't know. So, you know, they're like, oh, can you play this? And then homie trap, champagne trap. He'll be like, yeah, okay. Yada, yada. And then he'll Wait, just traps whisper. your bodyguard? Champagne trap? I have a lot of bodyguards. I was like, trap is not your trap bodyguard. Trap is usually always in the booth. I know, so, just because he's having yes. as much and fun as possible. He's on one corner of me, though. So yeah, they can yeah. get to him quicker than they can get to me. Oh, most okay. of the time. Okay. When but I have a bodyguard that can DJ. him, though. Yeah, okay. But it's, it's always somebody. Okay, because mm. shout out Champagne yeah. Chap, another legendary DJ here yeah. in the city. I'm like, he's not your bodyguard. I was yeah. like, I have, he might be like playing that. Like, just like, he's you, pretty tall, bro. He He's, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not saying he can't be a bodyguard. I just yeah. mean like, He's not probably big, just being like, get on, like, speaking. yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's not but like, have, he's not like strapping up, like, no, ready to just protect Cleo at all costs. I don't know. Maybe he is. Protect Maybe. my, protect my aggravation. Music. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Your people, mental. Yeah. people are rude. Yeah. People are very rude, and they feel like because they are entitled because they're in the party that they have to say so and something like yeah. sit down. Yeah. I literally had a question of like, do you take requests? I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Somewhere in my list of Cross questions. It off. Honestly, <laughs> no. <laughs> but it depends like honestly sometimes not not sometimes there's been a few times where requests and i'm like okay actually that would be good right now so if like, it yeah. happens to I'll, be good i was like yeah mm-hmm. what about like the trusted like like the Some homies of them, no the my homies absolutely I okay tell you. especially if it's a dj yeah 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, ooh, can you please play this for me if it's something mm-hmm. new? I'm like, yeah, I didn't even think about it. Sure. Because the DJs haven't been, I mean, the homies haven't been DJing for eight years. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's like, mm. <laughs> yeah, they have. I was like, oh, well, I was okay. like, her they homies. DJing longer than me. Yeah, I was like, her homies, Henry. They've been DJing yes. longer than I have. Yeah, because her homies are, you know, the likes of Trap, you yeah. know, Peter, et Dice cetera. Groove. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, it's legendary. How much music do you need to know? Oh God. Like, are you just like an encyclopedia of fucking music? So yes and no. I have a, I don't know how to describe it, but I have like a memory to where I can like remember certain parts of songs. Might take me a minute to remember exactly what song it is, but then I like zoom through my brain like, okay, that's what it is. And I'll just type it in. But okay. Yeah. So sometimes. Because I was going to also ask, like, this is just so fascinating for me because I've never really thought about the process so much. So like when you go to a gig, Mm -hmm. how much of your mix is like, somewhat pre-planned and thought out probably 20 percent. 20 yeah Yeah. i'll like make a crate of songs that i want to play for that specific party maybe it's something that i just downloaded but i want to remember i'll put it in a crate but nine times out of ten i'm not staying in that bitch the whole time Mm -hmm. like i'm just there like scrolling it's like okay this will go into this but i always try to like make sure i have like a a song that's in a certain bpm for each BPM or like 70s, 80s, something like that. Because mm. I love to blend. I like to mix. I don't do a lot of like just dropping on the ones. Yeah. yeah. Or type shit. So. Dude, that sounds stressful. It's fun. When, once you get used to it, it you sounds get comfortable. Like, it sounds like thrilling, but also super stressful. I mean, <laughs> not I, having it prepared. Yeah, I don't know. He's like, such a preparer. I okay. love you. I got, yeah, I got the notes, the the questions, you know, I used to do that. Like, this is where I'm going to start at and I'm going to just play in this whole crate. Never works. Yeah. Because you don't know what, what, what people want. Yeah. You're not looking and checking. That was my biggest mistake starting out. I prepare a whole set. Yeah. And they just weren't fucking with song well, was, three or something. Yeah, something like that. And then I kind of get in my head about it and then I start making mistakes. Mm-hmm. But, what are the mistakes that you can make as a DJ? Oh, you can fuck up a mix. Uh, you can come in too soon, go out too soon. Mm. You can have lyrics over some other lyrics. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it's a lot of things. And equipment is just not reliable sometimes, too. Mm-hmm. Like last night, one of the CDJs on the right side kept sticking. So it was mm. like... What does that mean? So oh. essentially, like, it just, it has a delay on it. Like, it was lagging. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So, so like, I'm sounds... scratching, and then I'm scratching, and I let go, and the release was, like, two seconds later. Ooh. Yeah. But nobody knew it, because I always have, like, my faders down low before I bring in a song. But I knew some Chest shit was it. going on, because mm-hmm. other DJs, that's another mm-hmm. thing. Oops, sorry. DJs need to start pulling up to their gigs early so they can hear the people before them. Mm-hmm. Because I saw it happen a few times with the other DJs I were playing last night. I was like, shit, it might be something wrong with that deck. And it was. Mm. So how often are you using house decks? Do you ever use your own? Honestly, I don't like to bring my shit. One, insurance. Two, it's a lot. I um, prefer to play if they have something there. But I never go anywhere where I don't know what they have. Yeah. Never. Well, because like... I mean, how different are the decks between it's, venues? It's so much shit. Like CDJ is the standard. CDJ is the standard if you're at somewhere that has like a good amount of money, you know? Mm-hmm. So you got CDJs, you have mixers. Most of the mixers are either an S9 or a 900. All the shit is Pioneer most of the time. Mm-hmm. I don't really see anything else other than that. But CDJs have like a new version. They got a 3000. And, and so if you don't have those yourself, do you just learn it, like just learn it by being there? Yeah. So my first time playing on CDJs was at Sound Table. Rest in peace to Sound Rest Table. Rest in peace. Yeah. Holy that was, shit. That was really like my spot. That's was that an it. EAV or? No, that Edgewood. was on Edgewood. Edgewood, Edgewood, Edgewood. Yep. That's right. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So yeah. they had CDJs, I think maybe like 2017 was my first time playing on them. And it was just when I um, started to like go to Player 99 events and they had a party called Atelier. And I was like once a month, but I opened a few of those for a trap and thrice. This was before I was in Player Ninety Nine. I was gonna I was say, really wait, okay, just starting out. All right, because now like, you are, yeah, a member of yeah. Player Ninety Nine, yeah. which puts on like dope DJ events, like yep. Theory. You guys have yep. another one coming it's, up soon, yep, right? Yep, on the sixteenth. Okay, at 16th. Aisle five. There we go. Five points. All right. Ten to two thirty. Okay. Pull up. Okay. Yeah. When's this episode t- dropping? I think we're out of town, but uh, when's this episode dropping? I'm out of town. Next Thursday. Okay, so it'll be like. Right. Shit, this might be dropping that day. That might be. Oh wow! Is y'all come out tonight. Y'all, y'all Don't go. Say this shit and y'all go to Al Five. Let's now. go tonight. Pull up Atlanta. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so. you know, so like, like, so you would pull up to their events and they had the shit already there. That yeah. that's really what I would prefer. 
Mm-hmm. And I'm more of the type of person I'm pulling up like an hour or two beforehand. So I kind of, you know, I have a routine. Yeah. And plugging up my own stuff is just not my preferred thing to yeah. do. But yeah. I will if I have to. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we saw you at Beer and Tacos and mm-hmm. you were in like one of the, you know, kind of, you know, green room, dressing rooms, whatever. Uh-huh. And like, she was locked in, bro. You were just adding songs to her set five she, minutes before going on. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and Cause I think you were doing exactly what you were saying is mm-hmm. kind of, you were peeping like what the crowd was responding yep. to yep. and you were like on the fly and we yep. just completely interrupted you to try and interview you. <laughs> I was like, I kind of felt, she was like in the zone and we're hey, like, can you stop what hey. you're doing? <laughs> hey, uh, we get, can we get five minutes, you know? Y'all are cool. Y'all are quick. Uh, I mean, got to the point. Yeah, it See was that matters. That's sure. that's all love. Um, so so how are you discovering new music? SoundCloud. Still. I stay on SoundCloud. Yeah. Stays on till SoundCloud, this, y'all. Day, faithful, faithful. Okay, but what are you doing? Like you go on SoundCloud. So how are you I'm actually going on finding SoundCloud? It? There are a few producers that I like, and I go listen to what they've like recently made. I go mm-hmm. look through their likes, what they're inspired by. Mm-hmm. Um, but SoundCloud has like hella, um, like if you have a favorite song or you like a song, it'll pull up a playlist of like recommended songs. Oh. They have a great algorithm. Yeah. It, it's really Seriously. cool. So we were supposed to have uh, Drea Jackson, who okay. is like artist relations at SoundCloud. She okay. was flying in from New York and we were supposed to do an interview with her. It didn't end up working out. But you know, we had a pre-call, so I'm gonna just go ahead and drop some of the sauce she was given. Okay. Um, it was about like how many underrated tools artists and like DJs, producers, mm-hmm. whatever, have access to like on SoundCloud. She was actually mm-hmm. like inspiring me that SoundCloud is still like an extremely viable. Just cause it's not the SoundCloud era. Doesn't yeah. mean it's not yeah. here. Exactly. Not it's, well. it's well in a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So artists out there, mm-hmm. yeah. your favorite DJs and producers are still finding shit yep, on, on SoundCloud. SoundCloud. So even if people have like, you know, forgotten about it a little bit and think yeah. that, you know, Spotify and Apple is more and YouTube yeah. is like more where it's at, you know, yeah. from a streams perspective, like there's still, still shit going on. I still get on DSPs. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Sure. I mean, everything is there, but other than that, it's like shit on TikTok. Shit yeah. I'm seeing on Twitter. Like a lot of some new kids I see, I'm like, damn, okay. Then I go from there and look, go on DSPs, look to see if they have music there. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. So who are the GOAT DJs to you? Who GOAT DJs? So yeah. many. Just Atlanta based. No, 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 no. Let's go like, yeah, like. So one of my favorites is is uh, is uh, Static Selective. I thought okay. you say Premiere. Great choice. No, no, no. I, I love Primo too, but yeah. yeah. So like, I I booked Static Selecta okay. for the first concert Static that I promoted. Selecta. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and like we had the wildest night out in New York. He took me to a club. Me and him were like the only white people in the club. <laughs> and I I look like I, I still have a baby face at thirty three, but think about what I looked like when I was at when I was twenty one years old. Can't imagine. Okay, I looked literally like I was 13. I had swoopy long hair. And so the DJ in the club uh-huh. was like, we got Static Selecta. Cause like, you know, we were going to VIP cause it's, you know, Static's uh-huh. the shit. And, and no, he goes, <laughs> and Justin Bieber in the house. And I was Damn. like, I was like equal parts offended and embarrassed yep. as I was like, hell yeah. People actually thought I was Justin, yeah. like, cause people oh. were drunk and like, it was dark and you know, yep. white kid with Static Selecta, like it must be Bieber. Like who, <laughs> oh, why would there, That's why really would there just crazy. be a concert promoter from University of North Carolina. And so, yeah, it was like one of my favorite nights. We stayed out till like 6 a.m., shut down several spots and like pretty sure he had sex with this like random girl in a bathroom at one of the bars. (laughs) Just call him out. That's the part of the shit you're not supposed to say out loud. No, I think he'd be proud of it. I think he'd be proud of it, you know? Okay. That was like 15 years ago. That's a crazy story. Yeah. He's changed. It was wild. But yeah, so so Static's like one of my favorites, but Yeah. yeah, like who do you go to? I love Jazzy Jeff. Oh, oh ahead. I'm I'm huge into like watching technical DJs, turntablists do that shit because I aspire to do that. But definitely Jazzy Jeff. So like um, technical, you know, when you say technical, what are they doing? Turntables. Mm-hmm. Which needles. is you okay. have real turntable with, with a, vinyl, a record vinyl. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. I just want to make sure because you know I kind of knew what you were saying. Yeah. But like, well, a lot of people probably don't. Yeah. That, so. no, exactly. no, I get that. So they're like, Everything what do you mean? So digital now. Exactly. You know? Yeah. But yeah, Jazzy Jeff's one of my favorite. A track. Thank oh. you for A track. Thank you for saying that. A track. That's the craziest DJ like technical turntables yes. I've ever seen. Multiple genres. Yeah. Oh my god. Maneuvering he blows through my mind. All types of shit. Miles Medina is another one mm. of my favorites. Oh, I'm not familiar. He was actually one of the winners of like A Trax um DJ. Fool's Gold something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fool's okay. Gold competition. Wow. I think like right before COVID hit. Mm-hmm. Think. Damn. Yeah. And I like watched all all his YouTube videos. Is that how you learned? No. How, how did I, I, so how'd you learn? I'm self-taught. So I YouTube. 
I know YouTube oh, University. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, so what I'm saying. Watching YouTube videos. Yep, watching YouTube videos. It was a DJ named DJ TLM. He had hella like instructional videos with great breakdowns of like how to count beats, bars, and phrases. So it's like a real like calculated thing because that's how I learned it. But I didn't even know what the sync button was until like <laughs> Years and years after I started DJing, I was like, oh, that's what that's supposed to do. What does it do? So it like sinks like, BPMs. <laughs> it sinks the BPM for you. Okay. I was like, but I have no idea. It makes the songs yeah. play at the same speed. Yes, then. same okay. speed. See, you got to talk to me right. like I am. The, like a third yes. grader the, the third here. third grader yes. that I've I have DJed a little bit, so okay. he's the okay. one you got to break it down. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going over Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're good. And I just think, you know, for some people out there probably know what it is. He puns it off as for our audience. Slow it down. I Really for him. I love doing that. Yeah. That's great. You're like, just you know, our audience might not know what you're talking about, and really, I'm many just, of us yeah. out the notepad. Yeah. <laughs> no, I get it. Shit, clarity. <laughs> okay, so so you're a product of YouTube University. You're a absolutely. graduate. Absolutely, absolutely. Probably still learning, huh? Do you, do you think you're still learning? Oh yeah, I'm do? always a student. Yeah. yeah, always a student. I feel like once you get to a point where you're not practicing, then time back it up. Mm. But I, I won't necessarily say that. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. It's always room for improvement, especially for me. I'm very like. If I have a set, I'm probably going to look mad as fuck the whole time, but I'm like locked in. And then afterwards, I'm like, all right, it was cool. Mm -hmm. Something always could have been better. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's how you stay sharp. Yep. So we kind of crossed the bridge of like, you know, random person in the club wants to mm -hmm. request a song. And I guess your response is like, trap, you know, yep. <laughs> go take care or of I'll that. I'll be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, I got you. And I'll never and play you it. don't. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time. Most of All right, the time. Shout, out to, shout out to you. Yep. That's a good approach. Um, what about artists, right? Like aspiring mm -hmm. rappers that mm -hmm. want to get their shit played. Mm -hmm. They're coming up to you. What's the... In the moment, it's just not... It's not the place. It's not the I'm, move. I'm working right now. You want to send me... You want to airdrop me some shit <laughs> while I'm using the laptop that you want to airdrop me some shit. To. The beep, beep, beep. Yeah. All that. <laughs> and like... I, I haven't heard it. Right. So what if it's terrible? Yeah. But there have been a few times where somebody's like, I'll slide you some money. Slide I got a hundred bucks. I was like, what are you? I, right I have not personally done that, but I have seen Trap do that. Oh. Yeah, bro definitely gave him $100 and the song wasn't bad. So I was like, damn, I should have waited. That it worked out. It worked out. Would you take 100 bucks? Hell yeah. <laughs> I would take $100 and I'd be like, all right, y'all, we got yada yada right here in the building. That way they know. Yeah. That shit was not on me. Yeah. <laughs> bro asked. They, they can but, sniff that out. But the like, shit oh, is okay. so, this is also the problem that I have. Yeah. DJs are so easily accessible. Like, I literally have an email in my Instagram. I don't like when people DM me like, yo, can I send you a song? If my email is right there, send me the shit. Mm -hmm. Send me the shit. And I feel like artists need to get back to sending packs, instrumentals, acapellas, like Every clean version. version, dirty version. Because you never know. Yeah. You really never know. And I am big on playing like my friend's music and my sets and everything. So I'll be like, call, like I hit Will up, Will Hill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like right after he dropped Passenger Princess, I'm like, send me the shit mm -hmm. now. He did. But, but the yeah. fact that he just didn't, yeah, Already. initially, but I get it. Like, he I don't have a lot going on. Everybody has something going on. Yeah, he's selling candles right now, bro. And I yep. bought one actually. Did okay. you? I bought a candle. You supported Will? Of course. Damn, bro. Shout we have candles will. on the set. It's, it's Why is that lit? It's actually. usually me <laughs> supporting our artists, but you know, I support everyone. You just <laughs> I don't show it. You love bragging about it. Mm. So there's the difference. Clout chaser over here. Yeah. Um. Damn. Yeah. I mean, I, I just feel like how important do you think DJs are still in in like independent artists mm -hmm. like growing their careers man i feel like we're in extremely instrumental yeah and why yeah. i say that is because for me i have a radio station that i have once a month on half moon bk radio which is a brooklyn based online radio station but they you know broadcast wherever um and a lot of that time, like, I'm playing music that are my friend's songs, and then I put that shit on SoundCloud. And everybody on SoundCloud is like, what is the name of this song, yada, yada. Mm. You know, it's it's just the easy way to be put on from them. But even now, like, if you think about TikTok and how many DJs are DJing on TikTok and how many clips you see go viral of people DJing, and sometimes it's a song that you ain't ever heard before. Mm. Okay, look, that's another outlet right there. I also have a lot of the um, just DJs on TikTok Live. Mm -hmm. Just spinning. Always. I, that's in all my algorithm. Heavy. Yep. And I'll, I'll tap in for a little bit. Yep. And also the post that's like, a, how well do you know the artist? It's like, I just saw like a Jid one and it's like, it mm -hmm. plays his hits first. And it's like, how well do you know Jid? Oh, that's And he cool. transitions into the next one. Oh, you know this? Okay, this. And it gets deeper and, and deeper I cuts, like kind of. Like, and it goes from 10 to that's 100%. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, 
I've also tapped into a lot of your social media content mm-hmm. and you are obviously just like playing snippets of your mixes. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yep. It, it's just like, it's just there. Yeah. <laughs> it's you there. don't know who's going to tap nope. in. Could be an A and R to label. Yep. Could be another artist that wants to now like yep. collab with you. Could be a dope yep. producer like Coop. Yep. Could be tapping into one of your mixes and be like, "Yo, Cleo, who's this? Who's yep. this? You know, artist right here." Yeah, it's right there. People are tripping. They're sleeping on DJs still, bro. I think so. Some up. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna ask you this. Uh-huh. So you mentioned like TikToks are going viral from DJs. Mm-hmm. Are you active? I. She's am. not, bro. Mm. She's not. <laughs> I knew it. I posted I today. It. No. I posted today. Did you? I did. You go look. When was the last time you posted before that? Probably like two weeks ago. It's I'm Cleo. pretty consistent. Okay. Pretty consistent. consistent. Me. Let me tell y'all what. So one thing about me, I fucking hate my phone. I hate Instagram. Mm. I only get on that shit because I have to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, if people don't see my face after a while, then they're like, are you okay? Is something going <laughs> on? Like, I'm just tired of this shit. Like, I just hate my phone. I'm going to check in on you next time I don't yeah. see you for a couple no, weeks online. I, I'm, I'm no, I'm going to have something. But I'm always working. Yeah. But I just, I just think literally what you just described, <laughs> you are one of those like, more tech. I mean, once again, I've seen a lot of DJs in mm-hmm. my, you know, in my day. And I feel like you are one of the more technical, like as far as like, I like to think that I am. No, you, you definitely are. I mean, mm-hmm. just from the scratching side of things, even mm-hmm. right. Like that, that's like the showboating almost of DJing, right? Mm-hmm. It's like the sound, you know, the song selection is, is what actually does keep the live mm-hmm. like event going on. But like someone like me, who's like a fan of DJing, like me seeing static scratch live for me, I was like, yeah, I bet that was crazy. it was crazy, yeah. dude. Yeah. I, was I, like, I was like, this is the craziest shit. Like someone who's just recognized as one of the like, you know, top dogs mm-hmm. as far as DJs go. And obviously yeah. producers, of course, but like his scratching was just, it was next level. It blew yeah. my mind. Right? I, think, yeah. I think there's two kinds of DJs. You have the DJs who are just not trying to fuck anything up. Mm-hmm. Play the right the right songs for the crowd, right? Mm-hmm. And and just don't get noticed. Mm-hmm. And then there's the DJs that are trying to get noticed yeah. and want a crowd and do cool shit and yeah. do transitions and scratch and are actually creating like a brand mm-hmm. for themselves as an entertainer almost by themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. I, I agree, but I don't feel like every DJ has to scratch though. No, I, I think, think both so. are both versions are fine. Yeah. I think I don't think so, especially if you don't have like the the equipment for real. Like scratching on a CDJ and scratching on an actual turntable, two different. Completely different things. Or just how, the, how so? The tiny sound, ass. the feel of it, like mm. everything is is different. Which no, to the common ear, you wouldn't really hear for real. Mm-hmm. So nobody really cares. But it's all a matter if the consumer cares. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does, does just like an average listener even give a fuck about scratching? I don't think so. Hell no. Yeah. No, they just in the moment. But we would find it like entertaining. I think. Oh yeah, I think like if you are looking and you're able to see that's actually what's going on because there are songs that have like DJ cuts in them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. If you're not looking, you would think it's just part of the song. Yeah. But that's what I mean about like, you should once again, you know, oh, I'm like the content. We're like the content guys over here. So mm-hmm. I'm just always thinking like, bro, if you showcased your like scratching even more, mm-hmm. I just, it has to go viral, bro. I don't know why I say that is, People's attention spans are like so tiny. It's like get to the point. Yeah. But if you were going crazy, just like with like the crazy yeah. technical and like almost yeah. physical nature to DJ, yeah. like or, the arms are going yeah. crazy. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't do all that. Yeah. Okay. I ain't, I ain't got all the razzle dazzle in me. Call Peter. Cannabis. <laughs> Does he have it? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I, I've you seen. Heard him? I, I've I've seen him, but like I, I don't want to pretend like I. Yes. Okay. He does. That that's like the bread and butter. Do you want to do that? I do. Okay, so it's I just do. like a, we, yeah. you know, we got to get it's there. A still levels, even. Yeah. It's a levels thing. Uh, this, oh. is, this is what you can yeah. do. It, you don't have to go out and make content. You just said you had a gig last night. Uh-huh. Film it. Record the audio even live. Do you? Film your whole set. I, I do. I don't film a lot of my sets, but you sometimes should. I You're record tripping. all Get an iPhone, record the I audio, record the video. I told y'all I hate my phone. <laughs> well, someone likes their phone who's, trap. maybe does Trap like his phone more than you? Probably yeah, not even. Probably. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe because we have one of those little, just like you know, phone little stands, arm, and it can set it just, up. Yeah. And then your best two transitions of the night, where you even were yeah. like, "Damn, that was hard. I didn't even know that was going to be hard." Yeah, you just yeah, trap that true. up, and that's, that's your content. True. Everything, everything is like in the moment for me. So yeah. I'm like, I ain't thinking about shit other yeah. than hopping up there, making sure all my stuff works, so I can go. No, that's 
It's facts. So that uh, that's the thing. Like, I do have a friend. Yeah. And her name is Ryder. She's, like, trying to take on the role of being, like, my art director. Mm. So, like, when she can come, like, she'll make the coolest video mm -hmm. of me playing. And yes. I'm like, damn, this is fire. Thank you. Yeah. But as far as me doing that shit, <laughs> I ain't got it in me. So do you go live, though, in no. DJ? Why not, Cleo? That's so You're easy. Fucking okay, let me, tell, let me tell you why. This no. shit is invasive as fuck. What do you mean? Okay, during COVID, I tried to do the live shit. Everyone was doing it and like, blowing the fuck up. That's on them. I'm, you got to catch me in the moment. I am big on energy. I'm mm -hmm. big on feeling people in the crowd. Like, I'm playing in my house and y'all watching me play in my house. It is different. Y'all seeing what the fuck is in my house? I have a serious <laughs> issue with that. Okay. Like, I, I well, just, don't do it in, like, your bedroom. But like, no, but even Can't we then, find a like, corner of the wall? People are weird as fuck. People are so weird. True. They're going to recognize people the apartment so complex weird. or something? Hell yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's a few influencers that I follow and I know where they live off live at just off of them posting inside wow. their houses. Yeah. We need to get you, like, one of these green screens screens or something. Or something. Nah. You could I, be DJing on Mars. Maybe. <laughs> that's, a, that's a valid point too. Yeah. But oh, all that extra see? emphasis and shit, I'm just more of a, you gotta catch me in a moment. Yo, I get that. And I'm a big energy person. Is like it? I feed off other people. And there's me. no energy. When no, you look I'm at playing the comments. in my house. Shit, I'm finna play some goddamn pilot talk or something. <laughs> like them niggas is not trying to hear that shit. So then like, uh, so, so then you don't practice yeah. like that? I practice, but I don't record myself practicing most of the time. B because you just don't think that you'll like look lit enough or something or like what's I, still... I don't give a fuck about what people <laughs> feel like you catch me in the moment like I, I'm, I feel like it, it's, it's, it's levels I keep saying it's levels but that's I feel gonna like be the title of this certain, episode <laughs> it's levels to this shit at a certain point like I don't I don't have to do all that mm -hmm. I, I just don't I just want it feels want forceful it. yeah it feels forceful for me man for me but I get what you're saying. I respect uh, what you're saying. Yeah, and is, I know I'm probably missing a lot of money is this, by not yeah. actually. Is, is this episode just like us trying to convince Cleo to post more content? <laughs> you just made it that in the last like, five saying, minutes. Cleo, I really want to interview you. And really, it's just like, let's get her to post more content. Let's blow yeah. her up yeah. even more. Hey, look, this right here, this the content. This exactly. Is. We are making We're it right content. now. We're making you go Thank viral. You in advance. Uh, yes, yeah. Actually, you're welcome. <laughs> Some people don't understand that this is what this is. Yeah. Some people show up and don't understand that, oh wait, this is free content for you. So. This is going to be beneficial. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So um, I had a few more. Okay. So DJ collectives. Uh-huh. Are you so like you're a part of obviously player ninety nine? Is that Correct. is that a DJ collective basically, yes, right? Yes. So how does that work? How's that dynamic work? Because like we've seen other collectives, like mm -hmm. we've had a lot of people on here, whether it's like Key and Jace from Two Nine mm -hmm. and shit, right? And like that obviously Didn't saw it, out, yeah, yeah, saw its demise. Mm -hmm. Like we we've we talked to a lot of people that like were in these collectives, and and ultimately it's fizzled out. So like, mm -hmm. what's the nature? We haven't had anyone that's been like part of a DJ collective per se. What's the like the, the the dynamic? I guess. So first, I feel like we're more than just a DJ collective. We're more than just DJs. So we have like. A photographer, Yvette Glasgow. We got like somebody else like over more of like the management type shit. That's yeah. Ephraim. Ephraim lives in New York now. He used to live in LA. So, I mean, it's just like there's multiple people that have different hats. So it's not just DJs type shit, mm -hmm. but it's more about like curating events for people to have experiences that they wouldn't necessarily have somewhere else in Atlanta. Mm. So I feel like we have a very like niche kind of crowd, like smaller, more intimate stuff, but you're going to have a great time, mm -hmm. a great time. I feel like I'm almost going to events. So like Dose DS is one of my closer okay. like yeah. friends in the, in the music shit. Yeah. And like, he's a fucking just yeah. killer DJ. Yeah, he is. He's so he, DJ. he DJed our, you know, first concert yep. that we did in February. Um, and Trap was there DJing for, yep. you know, a couple artists. Um, I, I almost like go to events mm -hmm. for the DJs here. Oh yeah. Y'all are like yeah. selling tickets. Yes. And I feel like the best way to figure out what's going on in Atlanta is to follow uh, an Atlanta DJ. Like, mm. and if we're not working, like most of the time we're promoting our friends or helping our friends, you know, at least popping it up on the story. Yeah. Because there's always something going on. And if it's uh, really, this is it. It's either something going on multiple times of the night the same night is five different parties or there's not shit going on at all. <laughs> is that can how we works? schedule Hell better? Yeah. Atlanta, can we schedule better? We always say this and it just never works out. But really, that's the venue shit. And I also feel like that's kind of what we lack compared to a lot of other cities. We do not have a lot of access to venues. Mm. What do you mean? So like smaller places, like Sound Table, we lost that. Music Room, we lost that. Um, shit, traffic ain't really traffic no more. Mm. So, Why do you think it is? 
fucking COVID fuck shit up, first of mm-hmm. all. And then, like, you know how the market is now? It's insane. Interest is stupid crazy. Yeah. Even think about a lot of restaurants that closed down because they couldn't afford to keep the shit open. Okay, yeah. So it's just like the economics yes. weren't... No. The math wasn't mathing no. for them to No, and a lot open. of the newer spaces, it's so hard to get into that shit. Because mm-hmm. they already got their curated list of whatever. Politics. Yeah. Involved. That's all it is. Yeah. It's a, it, and it's not even like any pressure for real. But it's just like, damn. If we had more access to more spaces, this would not be an issue. Yeah. So, so we should we all three start a, a spot? I who, mean, got, who, got, a who got the most money in their account right now? <laughs> <laughs> it might be uh, you. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, no, 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 no. I have two kids under two years old. I have no money at this Ooh. point. Yeah. Nah, boy. Uh, I'm broke. <laughs> Oh, I'm broke. <laughs> money and time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nothing. I'm, I'm broke in both areas. Um, but he's full of love. Yeah, yeah That's exactly. That's it. That's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I feel like coalition, coalition DJs mm-hmm. is yes. like one of the more like well-known. Mm-hmm. They're, they're also like a DJ collective, I guess. Yeah, I, I think so. I honestly don't know like anybody within that group, but I have, I do remember hearing that name and I know they're like a lot of older DJs if I think. I'm yeah, not kidding. Around, wrong. No, they've been around 15, 20 years or something. Yeah. yeah. And, and I feel like, is there beef between, like, is there a lot of beef <laughs> in the DJ world? Or? No. Okay. Not to my knowledge. Okay. Cause I, I felt like nah. I had seen some like shit between like coalition and some other, I feel like I vaguely DJ remember, click. but I'm kind of like, if I don't know what the fuck going on, I'm not going to follow okay, it. Okay, yeah, yeah, you seem like so drama free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I, I mind my that. business and get the fuck on. Yeah, no, for yeah, sure. About that. Yeah, so ha- have you ever considered being a producer or an A&R? Yes. So A&R was like my first idea okay. before I even started DJing. Because like I feel like, school. yeah, because I feel like DJs are almost just guaranteed to be good A&Rs. Yeah. yeah. Starting off in high school, that was literally my idea. Like I used to tweet about it all the time. I want to be an A&R. I'm going to have my first label, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> and it was like, yeah, everybody, that, that shit is not for me. So mm-hmm. I, ne- I never even dabbled in it, but. Why not? How the fuck am I supposed to get started doing that? No. I don't that's know. That's a great point. <laughs> so how do you, I, okay, Peter, start A&R. Peter could talk more on that tip. I, I really have no idea. But I remember like he was just explaining the extensive process that he had to go through to like mm-hmm. get to that point. And yeah. it was just like, yeah, mm, straight on it. How about production? Production, I have tried, but I didn't give it a good enough try to say I fully tried. Well, like mm-hmm. you actually tried to get in like FL mm-hmm. Studio or something mm-hmm. or Logic or whatever. Yeah, and- FL. I had a little MIDI controller. And, mm-hmm. and so it's just like, I, what didn't work? So I learned how to DJ quickly. All right. I taught myself pretty quickly and like producing, it was just like way over my head. Like starting some shit from scratch was difficult. But so, even then, like the types of laptop that you have, like I couldn't even get a lot of like the stems and shit that my homies had because I had a newer laptop and it was like logic and all that shit. It had a certain criteria to where it would only work on like a 2012 MacBook. And because mm. of the updated versions mm-hmm. of the software. She was getting cracked versions. I was <laughs> trying. I was like. I was trying. She and I had, had no more storage <laughs> on my laptop. And I was like, all right, fuck this. So yeah. I just never gave it a try. But Serato, they do have like a production software. I played with it for a minute. But I'm more of a like, yeah. okay, mm, I'll try it again and then sit with it for a few years. Okay. So yeah, maybe coming up in the future. Maybe in the future. Yeah. I do think I have a great year though. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, that, that's what I feel like is like me looking at DJs that are super successful. I mean, shit, even Dose, right? Like mm-hmm. he's yeah. he's a producer and an engineer even, right? Yeah. So it almost just seems like, you know, if you want DJing to be the like the thing yep. and not complement it with these other like kind of skill sets, like that's cool. Mm-hmm. But in my mind, it's like if you are looking to diversify, it feels like those two, producer and A&R, yeah. are almost just like... I no mean, brainers yeah. right yeah. it's like especially the access that you have to artists mm-hmm. and knowing which artists are like popping and shit yeah. you could just start you, you know, want me to play your song yeah I don't <laughs> disagree with the thing well, you're saying because I get on this beat yeah because I also want you yeah because I also want you to maybe rethink producer right like mm-hmm. fuck being an FL mm-hmm. you could sit back on the goddamn couch and know that your ear can guide whoever is you know it, I mean you don't have yeah. to be like on the fucking keyboard, like plugging in the drums mm-hmm. and, you know, doing the actual like you need, technical. You need someone yeah. to do that. Though. For sure. But right. like everyone's collaborating with other producers yeah. these days. You could but be that the type. requires time. Uh, exactly. Yeah, so that, that's what I mean. That I don't have a lot of. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You're... Or I've, I've extended yeah. myself uh. to stick to my little routine. So that's the only thing. No, yeah, but I do. I, I do 1000% agree with you. No, for sure. So do, do, do you day. feel like you've seen a, um, like an obvious shift in the type of music that people are fucking with? Mm, no. 
No. I don't think so. I felt well, okay. I went to a um a party after my gig last night and these girls, their name is Greedy Girls. They're DJs. Okay, I don't know. Um, I feel like they maybe started within like the last two years, but they're black girls and they play a lot of techno. But it's like the shit that they mix into the techno, you wouldn't even imagine that they would do that. So it's very interesting. So I, I wouldn't necessarily say that I see that there's a shift because I just wasn't going to those types of things. Mm. So I feel like it was already there. Mm-hmm. I just was doing my own shit, you know? Yeah. But Do you have like a very so. like specific type of like crowd or listener that likes your shit? Yeah. Hip hop based R and B. Yeah. I'm a piano dancing mm-hmm. type shit. But okay. I do I do when I have the opportunity to, I do go left a little bit more. Cause that's really what my pocket is. So what's left for you? Left like some lucky. Like some mm. some like super I don't even know what the fuck you would call that alternative rap. Yeah. 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 Alt Wait, rap. Which like Atlanta's Did it have it, a big scene for that, I feel so, like? So I don't, I don't even know if I could like speak to that for real because I feel like it's younger now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the one place where I used to be able to get a lot of that shit off at was like Reverie years and years ago. Yeah. That was my mm-hmm. first residency. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. Like 2017, I think to 2019. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there I was able to do whatever I wanted. Who is, yeah. Which is now called Cry, Cry Baby. Baby. Yeah. I think it's a karaoke bar or something. Yeah. I haven't been. Wait, they, got they got rid of the VR. Yeah. They, they like did a complete renovation on the inside. The yeah. DJ booth looks crazy. I haven't what? been there though, but. Yeah. Because we were supposed to do a cypher there, it's, and I actually meant to like hit the guy back up. They actually yeah. have a crazy DJ booth now, which is could be yeah. good for a cypher <laughs> still, but... It looked cool. The VR was kind of a vibe, though. No one played it, though. I liked it. I did, too. I liked it. It seemed like such unnecessary costs into the company. Yeah. You know? It's like, yeah. you know, she's talking about, like, companies just going out of business because... Well, it's a nightclub. It, it's not a VR bar. Reverie yeah. always popping, though. For sure. Still, it's always day. popping. It's almost like too found now. Too, yeah, too many people know about yeah. it. Yeah, so I wonder cool. if that's why they changed the aesthetic. Yeah. So, so what's the move as far as like you're clearly one of the most well known DJs I would say in Atlanta. I, I would say, but but like, is the plan to scale to be like what getting gigs in like New York, LA? Oh, you know, yeah. what I mean? like what's the what's I, the what's I the want vision to, like, here? Be full time with DJing and traveling around the world. Like yeah. my ultimate goal, I want to get to London. I want to be there. I want that to be my base. So London. I feel like the music scene out there is just insane. I love Europe. Do you want to DJ for an artist or do you want to just be a DJ? Um, I've, okay. So I've dabbled with that. I It depends on who the artist is. Mm-hmm. So like Will hit me up and he was like, yo, would you be my DJ? But we ain't really had nothing, you know, going yet for a sec. That was literally a conversation within a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. But I have DJ for an artist before. That's actually how I got started. One of my homies, his name's Jay Newton. Oh yeah. Um, we know we Jay. To, yeah. 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 So we went to Kennesaw together. Okay. He needed a DJ. And I was always going with him to his shows because I just love music and he was my friend. Like, yeah. he was real tight. So I was like, okay, shit. That's what really inspired me to, like, pick up YouTube, figure out what's the cheapest way to start. Mm-hmm. And I just kind of ran with that. And then from him, people saw me playing his sets and it was like, do you play parties? And then from there, mm-hmm. it just kind of, like, blossomed. And I feel like we kind of had such a sweet spot with the period of time that, you know, we kind of came about. So, like, uh, Ben Riley was in Abstract Media, Mm-hmm. And like that was my first introduction to them. And then after that, it was just a lot of places to see people play and hear people. Um, because Music Room, like they had a lot of shit going on during A3C. And they had like two floors. And I think, I don't know if I met Kenny there. I think I met Kenny. No, I met Kenny Mason at, um, fuck, Masquerade. Mm. And we all did a show there. And then, yeah. I mean, uh, Wiley from Atlanta yes. met him too. So I feel like we all kind of, linked up at the the same time. It seems like such a different type of DJing though, because- I love all yeah. those artists. You, I love all those artists, by yeah. the way. <laughs> Great fucking music. Yeah. <laughs> but for that, you Great do music. you do have to have a set list that is prepared and been rehearsed and yeah. you are playing these playing songs in stuff, a row yeah. and you know, you don't get to maybe do your experimentation I as did. much. <laughs> okay. I experimented so much. How so? How, how can you do okay, it? Okay, Jay, so like, we're going into okay. this song. No, 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 let me rephrase. Okay. So like at a show, there's a break in between each artist. Within that break, it's like, okay, I got five minutes to get off something. Okay. So that was my like challenge. So okay. she still didn't even like DJ for the artist. But that I little did advertisement for them. She still looked for that five minutes of being able to Hell do her yeah. they like, all right, time. y'all. Thank you. My name is Wiley from Atlanta. Up next, we got Jay Newton. He walks to the back. What they, what I was supposed to play? You're supposed no, to go crazy. I, okay. I know. Yeah. No, exa- I can see why you like it. Yeah. I mean, I definitely. It's like you got a set amount of time and then you look around the corner. All right. 
Yeah. You're the main event for five minutes. Yeah, it's fun. If it you, was fun. It was if, a lot of fun. If you could DJ for any artist in the world, though, like, be their touring DJ, who would it be? <sighs> the pressure. Yeah. Right. That's a hard question. Because you can manifest this shit right now. Like, you could be their touring DJ if they see this clip. Like, no pressure, though. Uh, no pressure. It, it feels like a lot of pressure. <laughs> it's not that much. Damn. Just your whole future as an artist's DJ is, ri is riding on this answer, but... Mm. <laughs> I'm not even going to give you an answer because I really don't know. The hell? I don't know. There it is. Yo. And then I also feel like once you DJ for an artist, you are, you're locked in with them. Like, let's say somebody hit me up and they tell me they want me to come to London or nope. some shit. I can't, can't do that because I'm on it. tour. Yep. Yeah. So that that's the, the other commitment. side of it. Yeah. Yeah. So That's true. Damn. But like, th then do you feel like you need to be like, you know, so this is my ignorance to the DJ uh -huh. scene globally even, right? So like, you know, DJs that are playing gigs worldwide, different mm -hmm. cities, et cetera, like... Are, are they also producers or also like artist DJs, kind mm -hmm. of like the Metro Boomins of the so, world, or like no? Okay, so no. there are just DJs, like yes, pure they're just DJs. playing the artist's music. Yeah, mm -hmm. they might play like a ten minute set before the artist comes out to like warm the crowd up. Yeah, but a lot of the times, like they're pre, you know, pre made, so they know what songs to tell the artist to come out to. You know. So I, I just feel like since I'm just such a person that just has to feel the energy of the people, it's kind of like that feels a little forceful, but not not in like a negative way. But it's just like preparation. No, but I mean, for what you want to do, Uh huh. for what what I want to do. Exactly. So I like you, you said, I mean, like, so, you know, London booking uh -huh. you. Uh huh. Right. Let's say this this London club wants to book you. Like, yep. how do you get to that point? Like, seriously, like connections. OK. I don't necessarily feel like it has to be through an artist. Like yeah. the internet shit. Mm. Set, people go viral all the time. Posting then, more than one TikTok in two yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then and then look. Got her ass. Yeah, you bro. did. You did. Got her I ass, ain't got shit bro. to say. <laughs> Put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> but, nice. Yes. yes. <laughs> but yes, valid point. Yeah. Off of who sees you. Yeah. And your yeah. brand as a DJ. Yeah. Just, yeah who marketing sees you? yourself. Which so, the brand is good. Yes. The brand is there. Like once yeah. again, I mean, just, yeah. you know, your aesthetic and obviously the, the like song selection and like how mm -hmm. you're carrying yourself on, you know, on stage or like on mm -hmm. in booth, whatever the like terminology is for, you know, for DJs and, on and stage then, still applies. Yeah. And then, and then even online, obviously, mm -hmm. even though, you know, we could post a little more, just to, yeah. you know, but yeah. like, you know, when you do post, like it, it feels like that's all put together pretty well. Yeah. But I, I was just curious as to, yeah, how you even, you know, cause the DJs that I know mm -hmm. are also like producing maybe mm -hmm. their own original music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I guess like maybe that's not the only way to or do have it. labels mm -hmm. or no, I mean, yeah. you don't have to do that. Yeah. You can just be a DJ. Hell yeah. yeah. That's fire. Well, Cleo, we've entered a uh, final segment. <laughs> Of the podcast. Oh, Final shit. segment. Oh, yes. shit. I know, Henry. Is this it? This is it. Oh, no. What is it? how big on? my eyes got? I'm scared. Yeah. Don't be scared. This is the rapid fire rampage. <laughs> Why oh, you got to do God. that, bro? The deep voice? Don't be, don't be scared. I was trying it. Proceeds um, to do it in a scary ass voice. Anyway, this is a three part segment. Okay. Three very short parts. It's going to be right. fun. I'll explain them as we go. The first part is just some short answer questions. Oh, God. Rampage! Start off easy. Okay. Cleotrapa. Yeah. Why are turtles green? Because that's how God wanted them to be. Oh, Facts. Can't argue with God, Henry. We're off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> Fire. What are your three favorite set openers right now? Set openers. First song of the night. Well, you see, because I don't pre make my sets, I can't answer that. Ooh. Can't do that. Loophole. Sorry. Do you remember the last three songs you've started your sets with? Why are we doing this? Um, I think last <laughs> night... Yeah, last night I was playing... Why am I talking to this? <laughs> last, yeah, yeah, last you, night I, was I just think my you just first had to song go in. was Delirious Vistoso Bosses because it was a girls' party. It was for Women's History Month or whatever the fuck. Yeah. yeah. So that I think it was, was day. That. It was you, a day party. You guys don't yes, get a right. whole it month. It was a day party. Oh, it was day, excuse me, party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was it a day party or a day? It was day? a day party. I'm over here like, it's a day party, but technically, like, my set was eight to nine. So is that oh, nighttime? Yeah. <laughs> Headliner things. Nighttime. Headliner things. Uh, okay, speaking of girls, uh -huh. you've just been paid $100,000. Oh, fuck. Just wait, though. You're, you're not <laughs> going right. to like where That's it goes so from there. Happy. Okay. To play a 13 year old girl's birthday. I'm going to do it. What are the first three songs you play there? You have Ooh, no information. No information. Oh, my God. Oh, yep. my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
now. You have their age and that they're girls. But these children are so grown now. But they it are. depends right. on how grown that child is. Yeah. 13 year old, the first song that I'm going to play. Like, does she like Megan Thee Stallion? She might not. She might not. She might be. Damn. She might like, like, Freddie I'm just going to go Drake, biggest song in the world. Shake that ass, bitch. Yeah. Hand on your knees. Rich baby daddy. Shake that ass for Clean Drake. version. Shake, shake that. that. For me. Right. Yeah, yeah. Shake that. that. For, for me. me. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, okay, moving on. What are the best and worst things about the music industry? Oh, God. The best and worst things. The best um, is easy to see. Well, not easy. Mm. The best things. It's rewarding at a certain point when people respect you for what you do um, and what you create. Yeah. Especially if it's something that's not typical yeah. and people fuck with you for that. Yeah. The worst thing is the politics of this shit. Because mm. it could be one person that don't fuck with you and they fuck your whole brand up. Mm. Just off of, we're not going to fuck with her, so let's spread that around. But that's not going to happen to me because I'm a child of God and I'm chosen. But So, so you know Lord. people that's happened to, I guess? No, not so you're really. like a DJ but blacklist? I've, I've, no. Not, <laughs> well, mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is this a big fear of yours? No, okay. not for me. I, I feel like, look, I do right by people. I mind my business. I stay out the drama. Ain't shit finna happen to me. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. That's like that's how we operate too. Yeah, and it's been yeah. nothing but love. It's no? like, that's why that's why every time people are like, the music industry's so shady. I yeah. almost like don't, and I know I'm not like making music, but mm -hmm. at the same time we're still like in you know same thing with you. You're in the like mm -hmm. vortex, and it's like. We just, the people that clearly get what we got going on and like we do right mm -hmm. by them, like they end up doing right by us for the yeah. most part. So it's I just do like, think there are evil people in the world though who yeah. just have it out for certain people, but I have not like completely witnessed that with my own eyes or like seen that happen. Yeah, uh, but it's also like you, you know, you attract what you, what's the? Put out. What, yeah. you, what you put out. Yeah. To an extent. Cause I still feel like. Your vibe attracts your tribe yeah. or some shit. <laughs> What is the fucking saying? I, I think man. that's it. That's a good one. Yeah. Like, you know, the devil was one of the God's disciples, Jesus' uh, disciples. Oh. He was part of the tribe. I haven't read that book in a while. I ain't either, but I, that was <laughs> right here. Right here in the it's been a while since that, I read that chapter. That book. <laughs> um, Cleo, what are the last three DMs that you sent? Mm, don't recall. Probably a repost of me playing last night. Three of them. Technically, that's a DM. Gosh, she's with the, she's coming she's coming with the loopholes, bro. I'm Cop dead outs. ass. Like, I'm she doesn't go on her phone either. I literally I don't. Yeah, the okay. list is that's fair. Especially in the requests that just say, uh, "You're missing bags." <laughs> email me. I know, but people don't. <laughs> that's their problem. What do you check your email on? Laptop. My phone. Ooh. I check my email every five minutes. Oh, okay. so she yeah. is on her. So, so I'm on my phone legit. checking the email. Email okay. people. But messages. Yeah, feed. Feeds no, for you pages. Don't, do not disturb. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, last one of the short answer. What is your favorite curse word? <gasps> Probably fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Did that perfectly. That was, that was great. That was insanely <laughs> accurate. It's actually like, what, who's that again that said that? Uh, I don't even know. Some... Some, Some white child girl, star. I don't know. Yeah, I forget. <laughs> I said that now yeah. I think about it. Probably <laughs> fuck. Uh, okay, moving on. This is the this or that portion. All right. It's going to be great. I'm going to give you two choices. Pick one. I think you kind of hinted at this earlier, but let's get it in the clear. Mm -hmm. Serato or tractor? Serato. Synced transition or manual transition? Manual. Hip hop or R&B? <laughs> <laughs> it's just because traps in my name. Uh, hip hop. Great beat or great lyrics? <clears throat> great beat. Ice Spice or Sexy Red? Sexy Red. Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network? Nickelodeon. Discover new artists or binge your favorites. Discover new artists. And finally, become a full-time rapper or leave the music industry. Leave. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, was, I, was praying. I was praying for a Cleo Trap of You have a great it. rap name already, too. Thank it could you. work as a rap name. You know what? I was supposed to be a rapper. Really? Dead ass in like elementary school. But that's what I said I was going to do. So it, was, so it was a &R. rapper, a &R, and then yeah. Oh, a &R uh, no, we went through phases. Okay. I guess. Yeah. Rapper. Yeah. A and R singer singer <laughs> no no really dead ass oh shit I, 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 I got some pipes on okay like, oh, you, know, you could you could like pull me up right now if you wanted to listen we got that one more time drop it's out there. there maybe is it under Cleo Trappa I don't know 
Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna ask you Her after answers. This. I don't know. Cryptic. God. The final part is the word association. I'm gonna say one word. You just give me the first word that you think of. Oh God! Off the top of your the head. Pressure. All right. Yep. No thinking required. Just feeling like you do so well. All Starting right. with trap. Music. Atlanta. George. <laughs> Cash App. Dollar Sign. Love. Heart. Japan. Korea. Chardonnay. Pinot Grigio. I like how her answers are like, nah, fuck that, this. Yeah. The, yeah. Pogo stick. Don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Barbecue. Ribs. Auto tune. T Pain. Hot tub. Bubble bath. Junk. <laughs> Trash. Flower. Child. Lil. Baby. Cleo. Trapper. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> this has been your favorite DJ, Cleo Trapper. Oh, As always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you fuck with this interview. We are here each and every week. Follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts. Leave us a five-star review. If you're not leaving us five stars, get the fuck on. Peace. Until next week, Henry, what are we doing? Bye. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Appreciate you. Thank you. Party that shit like one more time. That party that one more time.